Cogito. Chapter two, A Gentleman of a Night. The maybe? <laughs> I love the localization. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> All your prostitutes are belong to us. Why are you being so serious? Because there's a piece of my bang like right in front of my eye. It's not with all the others. Okay, yeah. Kagura-san kept calm to the end. He talked back to me with an indifferent tone when I said that I'll never change my choice. There are clients that say they don't like me. They said that they don't like a guy who isn't talkative. If I don't flirt with them, they question why they came here. I understand why they feel that way. But there are also some clients that like me this way. I wonder why. But despite him saying it in such a calm manner, it made me feel a sharp pain in my chest. You came all this way to the red light district, so you should let loose a little more. You don't have any reason to be on your best behavior in a place like this. His glare was still cold. It's not like I'm trying to be on my best behavior. So you're just not used to this place? Kagura-san cocked his head to the side while keeping his indifferent expression. It may be because I'm not used to this kind of place. And perhaps it's because I didn't prepare myself for this. I just came here on an errand. And Aroha san had just invited me to a banquet, so I didn't prepare anything for this. I see. Kagura-san looked down as if he had said that. Well then, I would like to reconfirm. Are you saying that you have no intention for your skin to lay upon mine tonight? A little, little brash, but at least he's, he's asking, which is something a certain other few guys don't do taco <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes so for tonight what would you like to do tonight Kagura-san tried to probe my feelings with a sharp gaze I I will only commit with someone who I truly love this is the first time I'm really liking the hero of the story yeah. Because she she's we don't know any of her feelings, but she's been getting so swept up by by all of the guys, so to know that this is actually her mindset is really refreshing. Who you truly love? Yes. Someone who I don't mind losing everything for. That's how much we'll love each other. We'll love each other more than anything else. And when we feel that our feelings alone are just not enough, that's when we will unite as one. I think this is the way to commit with someone who I truly love. Before I knew it, I had been really putting emphasis on this, to someone who was doing the exact opposite as his job. I may have offended him. Kagura-san listened intently to what I was saying without once changing his expression. Uh, um, so, I would like to go back home tonight. Would saying that to him so directly cut us off from each other in the future? No, but for some reason I didn't feel like that would happen. Kagura-san, thank you very much for today. I bowed le deeply to Kagura-san. I didn't know the cherry blossoms bloomed so beautifully and fascinatingly at night. In the daytime, they were just gorgeous. They would sometimes look like cute hair ornaments for children. But the cherry blossoms at night, especially here in Yoshiwara, they emitted an eerie glamour. Kagura-san told me to check out the town of Yoshiwara at this time with my own eyes. He told me that, but... Kagura-san, thank you for going out of your way to send me off. Thieves sometimes appear around here. It's dangerous for you to walk around at night. I know. I'm sorry to take up your time. No, it's fine. I started to regret staying for such a long time. We finally arrived at the gate, but... Huh? The gate is closed! Just as I thought. You didn't know that there's a closing time, did you? Kagura-san, you knew that? You're a liar! <laughs> you should have told me that. I'm such an idiot. 
Well, you know, he should have told me that. <laughs> he walked me all the way down here and didn't say anything. He should have told me that. You should have told me that. Even if I did tell you, I don't think that you would have accepted that. Sometimes it's better to confirm things with your own eyes. That may be true, but... So... This means I won't be able to go back tonight, right? You could say it would be safer not to go back tonight. If you'd like to go back and forth along a dangerous road at night, I won't stop you. I will let you decide if you will be going back to my room or not. If you're a smart woman, then I guess the answer is clear, though. The way he said that was kind of mean, but it looked like that was my only choice tonight. There was nothing that could be done with the gate being closed, so I went back to Gagura-san's room. I didn't expect that I would be returning once more to this gorgeous room, but the warmth of people had already vanished from this room. It was glamorous, yet shady. Luxurious, yet somewhat sad. Originally, this was a place where people would desire, take, and crave each other. A place where people would desire to take... <laughs> <laughs> But with the feeling that this purpose had not been fulfilled, air in this room felt very cold. What the fuck is that sentence? It has become quite cold. While saying that, Kagura-san was skillfully making the bed. As you can see, only one bed has been prepared. Well then, what will you do? How will I spend my night in this room? My mind overreacted to this one question. I chose my words carefully to answer him. I... I want to take a rest in this room tonight. For some reason, I feel very tired today. Well then, I will let you do that. A gentleman's job is to give the client what they desire. Since you said that you just want to take a rest, I will follow that. Do you always serve clients like this, Kagura-san? What do you mean, like this? I mean, are you always obedient to what the clients ask of you? Of course not. I like how there was no music and then suddenly, of course not. Bing! Bing! <laughs> I have my self-respect as a man, and feelings that money can never buy. But, as I am working here, I also have pride in this job, too. I thought that a gentleman of the night was... Just a man who entertained and slept with women to make money. I was touched. He was working here with his pride as a man and human being. What happened? You look like you're not all there. You should go to bed soon. It's just that as I listened to your story, I was surprised by the many things I discovered. My story? Kagura-san furred his brow into what appeared to be a profoundly puzzled expression. Yes. You live in a world that I've never known before, Kagura-san. So you have a very different set of values and your own strong beliefs. To me, it's dazzling. As I said that, Kagura-san then seemed surprised and made a strange face. Uh, um, I... have I said something rude? No. I've never met a girl who has spoken to me with such an innocent face like yours. How have you come to survive this long, being that vulnerable? Are you being sarcastic? If I was being sarcastic, I would say it with more indifference. So... To me, you are also dazzling. My heartbeat suddenly began to beat faster. His strong glance stared at me like I really was dazzling. All the clients who come here might say that was a trick to charm you. Look at that one piece See, of hair. That won't go. In this frame that he's in, I'm I want to like Photoshop sparkles around his head. <laughs> you wanna make him a vampire? Don't do that. No, like like the Alex Louise Armstrong sparkles that like come from his eyes. Oh why? <laughs> Cause it'd be funny! Cause it's like making funny because like I'm like I'm just so beautiful. It's just like bing bing bing. As he said that, Kagura san quietly approached me. Then he pulled my hand. Kagura-san, 
Is this what it feels like to have my heart jump out from my mouth with surprise? I felt strangely nervous and thirsty. But when I thought that I wanted to touch your cheeks, I was unsure what excuse I could use. Even if I said it's not a trick, who would actually believe me? Kagura-san gently narrowed his eyes and looked up at me. Ever so quietly, the palms of his hands extended out to my cheeks. I should have not wanted him to do anything, but somehow I was waiting for the palms of his hands to reach my cheeks. Is it okay? Is it okay for me to surrender to him like this? I need to calm down. Kakura-san, wait! Ooh. 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 <laughs> so. What are you doing? We know what he's doing. Dot, dot, dot would mean you're accepting it. Please stop. So, okay, this is a dangerous one because please stop would basically mean it could either offend or he could be happy that you're staying with your morals because he's a very yeah. by the book kind of guy. On the other hey, hand, he's not stripping off your kimono like the cow he's just touching your cheek so i know telling him to stop might be a little too forceful i don't know oh my god this is hard okay my intuition my intuition says please stop please stop i struggled to say something that wasn't in my heart to say unable to bear it any longer i turned my eyes down away from him and said it if that is what you desire after a while, I heard Kagura-san's voice. The strength in his hand that had grabbed me, quietly, loosened. It seems that I'm not acting like myself tonight. He sighed in a slightly self-deprecating manner and whispered. Though it's rare, perhaps I have become drunk. And then he kept quiet for a while. It appeared that he was thinking about something. As for me, the inside of my head felt confused. My heart continued to beat intensely, and it was difficult to breathe. After that, Kagura-san silently took away the tray with the sake on it. Then he brought it next to the bed and put it down neatly. I want to talk to you tonight. He seems really interested in me because I'm so different from all of the other women that visit this place. So I think that was an okay choice. I think he's captivated by my willingness willingness to not just be like, here's my virginity, have fun with it. That's my guess. <laughs> Will you keep me company? Huh? I honestly didn't expect him to say something like that, so I was really surprised. They say that the woman and the silent naturally become strong. You aren't an exception, but... Your strength is very attractive. Kagura-san gave me a cup. I naturally took the glass in my hand as it was given to me, and he poured sake to the brim of the cup. Don't worry. I'm not going to seduce you. I just want to get to know you more. It's the same as one's studies. You've piqued my interest, so I want to know more. I like this because it's kind of natural and considering the situation. <laughs> yeah. That's all. Kagura-san's eyes were shining. He poured sake into his cup and raised it up a bit in display and then swiftly downed it. He looked happy. Seeing that face of his removed any suspicions that I had about him. Well then, bottoms up. I drank the sake that he poured me into my cup. You know, you, we've gone through this for one scenario. You saying bottoms up is never a good idea. <laughs> I'm not a very strong drinker, and I'm not used to drinking like Kagura-san is, but maybe because Kagura-san opened his heart a little, I felt the sake's flavor melting into my heart. Since you walked to the gate before, you may have sobered up by now. You should get used to sake little by little. Okay. Kagura-san smiled at me a little. It was different from his previous smiles. It had a gentle and sad feeling. If I said that it's not a trick, then I guess that would mean he seduced women with his natural-born talents, wouldn't it? It's actually scary, but it might be the reason that he is able to survive in Yoshiwara as a gentleman. You should stretch your legs out. Didn't you say you were tired? He said so as he poured sake into my cup. 
I felt uncomfortable for some reason, so I sat down quietly on the corner of this glamorous bed. Oh, that's me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, just a little. Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything. Y yes. You were so vulnerable, and then you were really cautious. What a mysterious person. I'm normal. You are the one who's mysterious, Kagura-san. So I guess we're both new to each other. That's true. At least for me, that is. So, what are you interested in? For some good conversation to go with our sake. I think that we should talk about something that you're interested in. Something that I'm interested in? I guess I'm interested in you, Kagura-san. Cop out! Cop out! <laughs> So, I want you to talk about something that you like. What I said might have been un unexpected to Kagura-san, so he blinked his eyes. Are you <laughs> trying to make me fall for you? Huh? I had no such intention to do that. Now it was my turn to blink my eyes. I get more and more confused about you. You told me not to lay my hands on you, but then you also said you were interested in me. Kagura-san looked troubled and knitted his brow. Have I troubled you? No, but... If I talk about what I'm interested in, you may find it boring. Oh, no, not at all. I asserted as much, but... Then I will talk to you about a field that I've put most of my effort into. Is that okay for you? He's got the blush going on. He's happy. Yes, I'm looking forward to hearing it. I've been learning Western studies from a Westerner. It's actually quite interesting to me. But there are some questions as to how it will help me entertain clients. That's what Iroha-san and all the other gentlemen said to me. But that's not what it's about for me. To start, human beings are creatures that have a desire to improve and grow themselves. I really didn't expect him to talk about studies. This is the red light district, so I guess I was expecting something a little less dull. Of course, I didn't understand anything about his studies. I guess I was also tired from this hectic day. So before I knew it, I fell asleep. <laughs> wow! Did I bore you? Yeah, I think you did. Intensely. <laughs> And then peered intensely. Too yeah. intense. Too oh, intense. too intense. Too intense. Taco intensifies. <laughs> and then you just see his picture shaking.